Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm going to show you guys how to change your IAC, which is the intake air control valve. Um, it sits right over here on the 2002 uh, Dodge Neon. It's right over here, right by the air filter housing. It's a real sim simple task to do. First thing you want to do is disconnect your sensor right here. It'll pull up on this red tab, hit the button, disconnect that. You have two bolts, they're eight millimeter bolts, one on each side. <coughs> Go ahead and take that out. This is your old piece. All right, you got it. This ain't got no gasket on it. We're gonna get the new one. Place the gasket in place. No sir, Thank you. It might be easier to put the bolts in first. You want to make sure you got the gasket nice in the line before you tighten anything down. Get the eight millimeter. Let's go ahead, tighten them down. Now, if you guys want, when you take off the old one with it completely off, you can start the car for like five to ten seconds tops. And what it do is, if there's any buildup in there, it would blow it out. I already did that, so that's just something that you guys could do if, if you like to. Then you're gonna do is you want to tighten them down. Try not to over tighten it so you don't break uh, the, the gasket that's underneath the, the control valve. All right. And then when you get the sensor, pop the sensor back in, flip the thing off. Now what else you wanna do is you wanna disconnect the negative post off on your battery. What that's gonna do is after you let it sit for like five to 10 minutes, it's gonna reset the computer on the inside. And that should take care of the check engine light. So then after the check engine light, you know, does its re-system check, if you don't come back on within 100 miles, you know that took care of the job. This code was a PO508, which is the IAC, the idle uh, air control valve, uh, on a 2002 uh, Dodge Neon. Hopefully this helps you guys out. Have a great day.